I had a little over a year at my school, uh, we were under two years, and I decided that it was time to try and get Gordo to come up here. And so I contacted Gordo, super nice, uh, came and taught a seminar. We had uh, between 50 and 60, uh, great, great turnout taught very well, I got to spend some time with Gordo, which was cool, you know, I hadn't seen him in over a year. No, that's not true. I hadn't seen him in a while, because I had went up and saw him at a seminar that he did in uh, Virginia Beach, but we had a great time, you know, he, he taught my students, he looked at not only myself, how I train, but he looked at how I teach my students, he looked at the, the abilities of my students, and it was really nice to have uh, an extra set of eyes, especially from someone that's as legendary in the sport as Gordo. My name is Roberto Correa de Lima, Gordo, I'm also a professor of Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is my life. I'm doing this, uh, I'm stuck at 20, 27 years ago, and I'm Every day I wake up and teach him, teach him, teach him, and teach him before I sleep. That's my life. I travel for Jiu-Jitsu. I, I know many, many countries in the world because of Jiu-Jitsu, and I, I want two, two world competitions, and I'm great for Jiu-Jitsu. Hey guys, I have a like, big class, and I'm, I'm trying to show some my position and show some from the half guard and another one too. And probably you have a lot of black, brown, and purple guys. Probably you guys know the position, what I'm going to show. But it's important because always we have a like, new detail, you know? Yeah. Just pay attention to the details. If you have a question, ask me, I can show again, okay? Then, like, I'm going to show it in more than 10 positions and if you guys need, I can repeat how many times you have one. Okay? Let's start. When I moved to Brazil, it, it wasn't at first going to be a, uh, a full-time thing, but after meeting Gordo and, and Dennis Ash and the, the other black belts that, you know, Hummel, that really uh, molded me uh, in my advancement from purple belt on, I, I decided that's really the place that I needed to be. So uh, Gordo, amazing guy. I've met a lot of different black belts and I, I've been taught by a lot of black belts. The amazing thing about Gordo is he's the same every day. You know, I don't want to say that he's apathetic, that he doesn't care because he very clearly cares, but um, I would say he's stoic. You know, like he's very easy to respect. When I go to class, uh, I know that he's going to be there, he's going to be instructing. You know, he, he might be happy or sad, but he's uh, not going to let that overcome his ability to teach or run a team and his professionalism and the ability to respect him is just something that I've only seen a very few times uh, specifically in the military with some of the officers uh, really easy guy to follow really guy easy guy to get behind probably gonna be with Gordo from now until the day I die I'm teaching Brazil Rio de Janeiro and Jeremy come to my academy <coughs> he he was a purple belt he was he has a very good talent, he was very good jiu-jitsu and he come to training <coughs> and I saw he's, he's a like, very tough guy, technical, he, he, he wants to learn jiu-jitsu, you know. Then I think, I think he's, he liked the academy too because he stayed for a long time and we start uh, getting friends, you know. Then he come back to to US for a while and go back to Brazil again <coughs> to 
the first time he, he was like I think six months and he received his brown belt. Then he come back to here and back to Brazil and stayed for almost one year and then, then he got his black belt. He screwed here, but I just put my hip down and straight my leg. He cannot control my leg. Okay? What he gonna do? He gonna do almost the same but escape your hip to the other side. You know, so that was really funny. It was, um, I, I was just uh, really a few months into training and, and um, you know, I had read a lot about Gordo and, and the background of, uh, you know, kind of jujitsu. And, and Gordo is kind of one of the, you know, the greats. He's, he's one of the, um, originators in the art and uh, it was really interesting to be that close to somebody that's as um, you know well known and, and uh, historic as Gordo. Um, that's one of the things about Jiu Jitsu that really is different than most other martial arts is that a lot of the great practitioners are still around and you can train with them so it's, it's a pretty fantastic advantage doing Jiu Jitsu. It was a great seminar. He was a very nice guy. It was a very focused seminar. He had a clear direction that he wanted to go in, which was obviously half guard, and we learned several techniques that each one built on the previous technique. So it was a, it was a very useful seminar. I did find it. The Gordo seminar was really, really cool. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've been privileged to go to some really good seminars with really good um, jiu-jitsu legends, so to speak. But with Gordo, to have a guy that basically invented half guard, that's a really unique kind of opportunity to be presented with. And, you know, to have a guy that's going to travel to the United States from Brazil, um, it's obviously an honor for him to do that as well. Um, most of the, you know, big seminars I've been to are all United States based practitioners and teachers. And, you know, again, they're all black belts and they all have a lot to offer. But being around someone that, you know, not only had such an influence on how the games play today, but when you also know that, uh, kind of going back to what I was talking about earlier about, you know, a big part of jiu-jitsu is fighting through injuries. To know that he came to that position because he was fighting through an injury and, and wanted to stay on the mat, it's, it's inspiring to hear the story, but also inspiring to kind of meet that person and see them offer up expertise on that particular guard in person. Gordo seminar was fantastic. Uh, it was uh, a great chance to be able to see someone at that high a level of technique instruct something that they know like the back of their hand. It was fantastic to, to just get on that level and understand something or, or attempt to understand something at the depth that he does and uh, it was extremely beneficial. Been to lots of seminars. Uh, the Gordo seminar was uh, um, pretty large group. Um, I like the instruction. I like the detail of the underhook series. That's the one I remember most uh, that we worked. Um, I remember how approachable uh, Gordo was. Um, just real nice guy. Didn't smile much, but that's all right. Um, had a really great time. Learned a lot. Um, look forward to him coming back. Gordo seminar was really was a lot of fun. Um, he gave us a lot of detail about the half guard. Uh, there's many things that that he mentions, the details that he mentions that that definitely when I apply them have, have worked well for me. Um, he was a very uh, good instructor, definitely, and uh, fun to be with. A lot, a lot was learned on that on that seminar. People doing very good, very, very technical people, easy, easy to learn. Mm. I 
I'm I'm very proud for this. I'm, I have some students they they teach now and they 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 doing very good. And I know Jeremy. It's like he he like to work hard, and I know he is going to be good. And I'm I'm very proud to see how his academy doing now. The most important thing for my my jiu jitsu, always think in defense yourself. Defend yourself. What is what I look now? A lot of professional guys like probably world champions, they have a very good attacks, but his defense is not too good. I have a student. He's a black belt world champion, and he can like he can uh, make me tap three times. But he paid for me. And 20, 25 years old, he shape. He cannot pay for me if he have a good defense. You know? It, it, the most important thing is defense. If, if, you, if you can defend yourself, nobody can beat you. Just think of this. You know? Imagine if you can train with everyone and you're not bad. It's the best. That, that's what I want. You know? Then, my butt, you need to protect yourself and you need to attack. Especially when you go to a competition. When you compete, then you look, in, and then you need to look more to, to, to offensive game. You know? But of course, if you just if, if I defend myself and Gary defend himself, what would be going to do? <laughs> Someone needs to go offensive, you know? But I want to say thank you to Jeremy to bring me here. And thank you to everyone to come. I know it's t tonight, uh, Friday night. People have family, have everything, other things to do, and people come here. Thank you, and really, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. All right, we're gonna get a picture because there are a lot of people here and a lot of people that I like here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it, it, it was good. Um, obviously, Gordo put on a great seminar, especially it focused almost exclusively on half guard, which is awesome. That's something that we all need. Um, it's a big part of the game. Uh, let's show them our appreciation by making an awesome photo. Okay? So, uh, when, when I say go, I'd like you to move up front. I want brown belts and black belts up front, purple belts kneeling the row back. White belts, blue belts in the back. Sorry, guys. All right, ready? Go. Man, jiu-jitsu is like too big now and still growing, you know. And I hope one day I, I can see jiu-jitsu in, like in, in schools, like we, we see wrestling, basketball, another sport. Then when, when we have jiu-jitsu in all the schools, then I think jiu-jitsu is going to be much bigger than now. Vai nascer na mesmice escondida no outro que morreu, mas a de Deus I am having an amazing amount of fun. Good half guard stuff. It, um, stuff to so far ways to escape, which I need for sure. It was great. Um, a lot of little details that you might have forgotten from training so long, but really sharpened uh, all the little details. It was really, really good. I'm glad that I made it for sure. Hey, awesome seminar. Yeah, I'm just proud about him because you know he he doing a very good job. He, he he was when he was in Brazil he trained very hard that's why he received his belt uh, I don't give belts easy you know and, and he I, I'm sure he's a very good black belt and I'm sure he's he gonna gonna have very good students <coughs> and a very good academy <laughs>